What's up, everybody? It's Ralph with Pondscapes out in Mesa, Arizona. And man, oh man, am I excited about this one right behind that gate right there. All right, so check it out. We have got a load of boulders specifically selected for this project. And I am super excited about this one. This is gonna be like nothing we've ever done before. And here it is. What we have is a 1934 Chevy Stepside truck bed. Now, we're gonna have to get creative on turning this into a pondless waterfall. All right, right behind me is where we are going to be installing that truck bed, kind of at it like about a 30 degree angle. We're gonna bring in a bunch of dirt to give it that elevation and also some contour so we can put in some nice big character boulders to the left and right of it and then also uh, build that waterfall on the inside of it. So we're kind of confined with space inside the, the back of that truck bed, but that's okay. We've got a great plan in mind. Let's see what we come up with. All right, as you can see, we've got it kind of laid out in position where we're gonna visualize this. So what I see in my mind right now is that water kind of coming across and then meandering back through and then dropping down and disappearing right around in this area. We'll work with uh, the elevation that we're gonna bring in over here to get that uh, tailgate to kind of get uh, a little bit forward rotation and kind of uh, dug down into the ground. And of course, we're gonna have lights in there and really dress up this corner. That way when you're sitting out here, enjoying a nice little fire, you've got the sight and sound of a very unique pondless waterfall. So the guys did an awesome job getting this area cleared out. So that gives us a blank canvas to work with. Um, now what we're plan is we're gonna use the Bobcat. I just dropped uh, about four tons of dirt out front and we're gonna save the last bit uh, just to make sure we don't overdo our mounds. But we're gonna start from the back and start building up our mound, wetting it down, rolling the machine over that to compact it and then building that downward slope that the truck bed is gonna sit on. All right, so we have got the bed kind of in position that we're happy with. I don't want this to be nice and level across. That wouldn't look natural. You wouldn't stumble upon this in nature, nice and level. So now what we've got to do is get these fenders kind of buried in and we're going to align them with the uh, original bolt holes and uh, run some screws through there to hold them into place. So what we got accomplished yesterday was bringing in uh, the dirt to mound everything up, uh, clearing the space and getting all the boulders back here. Uh, so now we are ready to actually get moving and make some real progress. So we've got the aqua blocks laid out in uh, the fashion that uh, I want that. And you can see up there, we've got the, uh, the mini spillway. That's where our waterfall is going to start. And right over here is our pump vault, where our pump and float valve are gonna live right down inside there. So that tailgate is gonna sit kind of in that fashion. So uh, I like how everything came together. I like that the truck bed is kind of leaned over to the left a little bit and it's got a nice uh, angle. So that gives us plenty of elevation opportunity to work with to create a really cool waterfall inside there. All 
All right, here we are. We have got our mock-up ready, and uh, it is time to pull the guts out, drop in our fabric and our liner, and get to rocking. So this is the concept so far, so let's see what happens. Uh, so far, what we do have is uh, about four tons of uh, dirt that we brought in, plus what we generated from plus what we generated from the excavation. And I've got another uh, three tons uh, out front that we'll bring in and kind of uh, do some mounding and undulating around the truck. So uh, it is time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, now that we've got our fabric and our liner installed and the interior all set up. All right, uh, so now what we've got to do is start from the bottom, just like any other waterfall. Don't get distracted by the truck. We're going to start from the bottom, start meandering our way up, and uh, get to rocking. <laughs> Here we go. Guys have got the uh, water line, the water supply line trenched out, ready to go. We'll drop in that half inch pipe over there, in there, cover that up so we can continue with rocking this bed out. And I think we're going to have some water flowing today. All right, so yesterday I had to leave a little bit early to get a few more boulders. I think we have what it takes to finish out the interior of the bed, but we also wanted to make sure we had enough big rocks for accent pieces. So right now, Josh is bringing those to the back. So once we get this bed all rocked in, water up and flowing, we'll really be able to enhance the area around and make it so much nicer. So Alex, what are you working on right now? Uh, just the finishing touches of the last drop of the water feature going into the aqua blocks. Putting a couple of bigger stones and mixing up the sizes, making it look like a wash. Making it look good. All Signature. Right. All right. So uh, Josh is building up this elevation a little bit. We're gonna flip that liner, do some trimming on that. Basically, we're, we're just getting rid of a low point. If we get a good downpour, we don't want water rolling into that, so we're gonna direct it away. But you can see we've got that tailgate in its resting place now. And just the way it leans up against these rocks, it just looks very natural as far as uh, the placement of that, of what could have actually happened. Now we've got uh, some of the landscape gravel that's just tucked behind this tailgate to fill up that void space and then we'll top it off with river pebble uh, to make it look more like it was washed out i just really like how it's coming along right here you this is a large boulder here but you can still see the wheel well behind that so that was important we don't want to take away and detract from the truck itself so we really want to make sure that we don't do things that are going to impede that vision all right so you can see here we've got this is our final drop so working our way from our final drop up we've got uh, a little spill there coming through got a drop there now i've just got to figure out what's going to happen in the beginning i was thinking the spillway is going to go right here in this corner but now I am not sure. I might put it over here, but it just depends on how the rocks work out. I really want to get some uh, a, a turn out of this, but we've got a very narrow space to work with, so it got to get creative on uh, moving that water around. <laughs>
There we go. So what Alex is doing is getting a nice big thick bead of foam that will go around the entire perimeter of that cutout. And then whenever he lays that liner back in, that foam, it's gonna be a big bead and you lay that liner in and it's basically gonna wrap around and hug that liner. So we're essentially making this watertight. Now this is not 100% watertight. This foam is a director. It is not a water sealer. So don't go into this thinking that you're going to seal a liner uh, in, in using foam. There's a specific way of sealing or seaming liners. All right, here we go. It is the final push. Time to get this truck back up and in action in our way. Look at that. Come on. All right. The heartbeat of America. <laughs> so we are all done. I am so thrilled with how this came out. I mean, that tailgate just tucked into the ground like that. It just looks like it's been there forever. I just love how this nice little waterfall is nestled into the bed of this truck. And we've got lights going on. We've got five lights. We actually have one uh, one watt spotlight shining outward right across that tailgate. So that should look really cool at nighttime. And then right under this last drop, we have a waterfall light pointing straight up right in here. We've got one shooting at that fall. And then right at the top of that fall, we got another one shooting across. And right inside that little pocket right there, we've got a fifth light. All right, y'all know the drill. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I personally am in love with this project. I've got an old bed at my own house that I would love to restore that truck, but it's gonna be a long shot. It might end up looking like this. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Thumbs up if you want it. Thumbs up if you liked it. And we will see you on the next video.